So in this video, we're going to be going over the bone markings of the vertebral column, as well as how to distinguish them. So first we have the sacrum and the coccyx, or the tailbone. Now we're going to divide these into our cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. So an easy way to remember how many are in each, if you're looking at a vertebral column in an articulated skeleton, you can remember at top you have breakfast at 7, lunch at 12, and then when you get to the lumbar, dinner at 5. So uh, breakfast at 7 is your cervical. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cervical. And now we have 12 thoracic. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, So there's a 12 thoracic. So um, the fastest way to determine this is first the lumbar up here. They have uh, these moose looking uh, figures, so here, and these uh, facets come towards you more so than um, anything else. So if I compare to this one, which is a thoracic, the facets go straight up and that's it. So the airs sort of here on uh, the lumbar distinguish between the thoracic. This is more evident when you get to like middle of the thoracic where it's very clear that there's no um, forward protrusion depending on which way you're looking at it. So let's just grab one of these and just go over its parts. So you have the body of course. We have a vertebral foramen, so remember foramen is just a hole, vertebral foramen. When stacked onto each other, we also get an intervertebral foramen. So inter, referring to between, between vertebrae hole. So intervertebral foramen. Here we have a spinous process, transverse processes, transverse referring to the sides, lamina, and that's kind of it. So again, body, vertebral foramen, sorry, intervertebral foramen, spinous process, transverse process, lamina, and that's basically it. So it comes a little bit differently when you get to a cervical, specifically this one which is called the axis. The axis has the little dens on top and it also has, like all cervical do, transverse foramen. So holes on the side. So again, axis has the dens, or the little tooth looking thing. And then our C1, which is our atlas, will sit on top. And it doesn't have a body. And that's because its body was once the dens and it fused onto the axis. But it still has our transverse foramen here. Like this one. So this is just a cervical. Transverse processes, transverse foramen, body, vertebral foramen, spinous process, and lamina.